Hey, my name is Tinla and welcome to my channel. Uh, I recently purchased a 3D printer kit from Fombot and today I want to see how well uh, they send me the stepper motors. Um, they are supposed to be a really well-known, pretty good stepper motors from Moon Industry. Uh, as you can see, yeah, uh, yeah, Moon Industry. And I want to see how good these stepper motors are, okay? And I want to check the TIR, which is the total indicator run out. I want to check that uh, specification for the motors uh, to see how good they are, okay? And they advertise uh, the motors, the stepper motors are very good uh, with high temperature resistance uh, um, environment. Um, I cannot really tell the difference, but if they say that, they have a better insulator for the high temperature because these type of motors going into my Vara machine, uh, which can, you know, generate about like 40 to 60 Celsius degrees uh, inside the chamber. So, but anyways, I, I cannot check how they can withstand that temperature. I just want to see uh, the mechanically sound of these uh, step of motors. At the back here, uh, the plate, I mean, my, uh, my, my, my wooden plank but it serves as a plate uh, you're supposed to do it on the surface plate but uh, that's what I have in my garage so I'm gonna use that and I used to uh, four liter water jug to weigh it down so it doesn't move around a lot and I have diode test indicator as you can see here um, to check for the TAR of the motors so as you can see if I press it down over the base of the motors so it doesn't really move much Right, I press this hard, but if I press it over here, the needle would move about one thousand or two two thousand of an inch. So um, two thousand of an inch is about zero point zero five millimeters, uh, which is about like fifty microns. All right, if I got it correctly. So if if I move, if I move the the uh, the, the motors. As you can see, I'm going to find the highest uh, point on the shaft and I stop there. And then I'm going to hold my finger and keep the motor steady, not moving. And I'm going to spin the uh, shaft and you would notice the movement on the uh, diode test indicator here. Uh, so I try to keep it steady if the motor is possible. No. That's not right. Find highest point. See, it moves about half of a thou. So one line is half of a thou. So half of a thou, I mean half of one thousand of an inch. So which is about 0 0.0005, which is about 10 microns, 13 microns. So for this motors, it's really good motors, okay? So I want to test them all, um, what Fombot provided uh, uh, Moon Motors to me. So I want to check them all. I'm just, you know, this is my first time to check. I don't I don't know how well the, uh, the, 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 the other motors are. Okay, so I find the highest point for this motor and I spin. I keep the motor steady. I spin. The, this one moves about 1,000 of an inch. 1,000 of an inch is about 0 0.025 millimeters, about 25 microns. So all the motors that I find online, to, uh, they claim to be about 50 microns. 50 microns is 0 0.05 millimeters. Specification for the total indicator run out of the shaft. Okay, and stick around. I'm gonna show you the motors that I purchased from different vendor, and they come as really bad wobbling shaft. Same thing with this one. I'm gonna find the highest point. There, about ten, number ten. Okay, that's my highest point, and then I'm just gonna spin the shaft. Oh, this one is really good. This one is really good. I wanna use this motor for my eight be drive on my Vron machine. So this is really good. I'm going to separate them. So 
this one is like really good motors. Okay, I'm gonna put them aside. All right, so so that's three motors. We're gonna put them aside for that motor. I'm gonna use for AB drive. Okay. These one, they got tolerance on it. Everything has tolerance, okay? So I don't expect them to be so perfect, but whatever the good one, I'm gonna keep them for my AB motor drive. So for X and Y axis, okay? Uh, for my Vaughn 2 machine. So this is 10, that's my highest point. So I move around to find the highest point, as you can see here. All right, so my highest point is there, number 10, as you can see, and I'm gonna keep the motors as steady as possible, okay? I don't put any pressure, so to skew the result, okay. So this one is also good, really good. So the needle doesn't move at all. In less than half of a thou, half of a thou is like i don't know very good this motor is very good okay i separate them so the way they they sell these motors okay probably they sort them out the good one and the bad one you know the bad one usually goes on sale i don't know i'm just guessing but it's just like bearing you know the bearings are manufactured the same process but then they they separate them to have a higher spec of the motors. Okay, so that my highest point, as you can see. Yeah, there, highest point. I'm gonna spin the motor again. This one is, is about half a thou. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm very happy with how moon motors are. At the end of this video, stick around, okay? I'm gonna show you the bad ones uh, that I purchased. Um, I mean, this dial test indicator, I use this one a lot on my 3D printer machine. I use this one to check for flatness of my bed. So if you have money, go invest it in one of these dial test indicator, okay? Mr. Toyo, you can get a Chinese made one, no problem. With the Chinese um, made dial test indicator, on AliExpress, I'm gonna put the the link for you to go and check it out. Remember, when you purchase dial test indicator from China, don't put any magnets around the the the, the face because the material they use, the gears that they use inside the dial test indicator, are magnetized. So the needles itself is also, you know, magnetized. If you put a magnet on them, so they you're probably gonna damage them. This one, wow, this one is really good. I'm really happy how the motors come. This is my first time checking these motor. I, I don't know the result. So this also have a thou. So I'll set them down. So these are pretty good. I, I can use this one for my AB motors as well. Uh, so here. See the the problem with these motor they 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 sit they're not sitting flat on on the, on the face eh so that's why I'm using a block to keep them flat tip not rocky you know okay so that's my highest point there I'm gonna spin the shaft again keep it steady as possible wow the TIR of this motor is like less than all right, less than half of a thou. So, okay, I'm gonna use this motor for my AB motor drive for my Voron machine. Wow, all right, I'm really happy how these motor uh, come, you know. And they actually ship, when they ship these motor, they really put inside like it's foaming with its own slot, you know. So they really protect these motor. Okay, as promised, I'm gonna use one of these motors. I don't know if you can recognize this motors. I'm gonna show you the, all right, that I purchased, I don't know, 2014, so like 10 years ago for my 3D printer build, but I never actually use it. I mean, this one is like whatever uh, since 2014. All right, so I'm gonna put onto the shaft. I mean, if you check on here, you see this is my highest point, but if you check over here, 
All right. So if the TIR can range from different places, okay, this one might be two thou, but it moves over here, it might be like four or five thou. So, so let's check at the bottom here. So that's my highest point. I keep my motor steady. I'm gonna spin it. Wow, look at that. This moved like 2,000 of an inch. You see? The needles move 2,000 of an inch. And if I use this motor and build my 3D printer and then put a pulley onto the shaft, and basically I can see the pulley uh, wobbling uh, around the axles. Um, so that creates a really bad effect on your 3D printer um, performance and quality uh, with your print. So, so if the motors come like that, I wouldn't want to use it on my 3D printer. I don't mind if they use it for something else, but I, I don't know what to use it for. But as you can say, this one is fallout of spec. So in general idea, all these motors, they advertise as 0.05, which is uh, 50 microns uh, TIR total indicator run now so I'm really happy at the end you know my conclusion I'm gonna mark these motors I'm gonna mark these two motors uh, that I separate them from my AB motor drive and these are really really good uh, TIR there's no like wobbling effect on these shaft uh, and these four motors as you can see here I'm going to mark them for my Z drive for my volume 2 machine. Yeah, so if you find this video is useful, please uh, give a thumb up. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, fun bot. I, I'm, there you go. Very well built uh, stepper motors uh, with a kit, you know. Uh, you know, if, if you have, if the LDO, I don't know. I don't have the LDO uh, kit, but people say that they are pretty good too but the only way to check it whether the stepper motors are good or not by using a dial test indicator like what i'm showing here okay and um i'll see you in the next video i'm gonna build a volume too so please uh subscribe uh, to my channel and uh, i'll see you next time okay bye thumb up guys